So a couple comes in, you get this call, you need to get in just as soon as possible. They walk in the door and very quickly, in a first conversation, the partner who's been injured is like, what are we going to do? couple who's experienced infidelity repair the relationship? It's a very good question. First of all, it is possible to repair. Infidelity, I think of it as a bomb going off in the relationship. Everything that you knew about your partner, about your relationship, blows up. I don't know how to trust, I don't know who you are, and so the foundation gets shaken. It becomes this an injury, the biggest injury that can be because it happened in an intimate, in a relationship with someone who's supposed to have your back. Mm -hmm. And so um, one of the things that we help couples do is first stop the bleeding. Take, take some time to really talk to each other about what happened for the partner who is hurt to be able to express their pain, their fears, the meaning of particular event or particular action, whether it was an email or you know going to a concert with her husband uh, first time after the baby was born and later on find out, finding out that he was texting his lover. That moment is the injury. So we go back to those to those moments and share them, and the, help the other partner who um, oftentimes feels ashamed, confused, mm -hmm. um, doesn't understand himself why it had happened, to be able to take responsibility um, and hear and respond to your partner's pain. Because the way we heal is if I, if I see my pain reflected in your eyes, then I know it really matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think um, very often it feels like an absolute emergency. I love your Im image of a bomb. There's an emergency feeling. So a couple comes in, you get this call, you need to get in just as soon as possible. They walk in the door and very quickly in a first conversation, the partner who's been injured is like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And we're supposed to separate right now. What about the kids? Da, da, da. And I often say to people, you know, before you can know what you're going to do, you have to start to understand what happened. Mm -hmm. We really want to help people slow down the impulse to come to a quick decision right there. Mm -hmm. um, the pain is very raw and real, and we understand the wish to want to act very quickly. Mm -hmm. But I think if we can help people say, you know, look, you've just had a tremendous shock. Usually the, the partner who's had the affair is, feels terrible, you know, um, but didn't, didn't, you know, sometimes the worst part of it is, is the fact that it's not just the person has stepped out of the marriage, but there's been a secret for a long time. So, the, so that needs to be processed. And I often say to people, I really want to help you understand what's happened. I want to help you both understand. Mm -hmm. And we will, I promise we will get to what you're going to do. But can we first try to make sense of it? Mm -hmm. The big challenge is certainly the person committing the affair accepting responsibility. Mm -hmm. The Irish have a good saying, everyone focuses on the drinking and not the thirst. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a reason why people look outside their relationship that there are needs not being met within the relationship. And we're not blaming those needs, but we have to open up a, a space to explore that. Yeah. And some, sometimes I will say, I think the person is also, they may be missing something in the relationship. They may also be confused about something in themselves mm -hmm. that they haven't been able to bring to the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you talk to people in therapy, what I'm struck by is, this idea is out there that um, it, this is all about uncontrollable lust. Mm -hmm. And having seen couples for 30 years and done all these research studies, right, right. if you listen to people, you know, they will tell you that the main reason they start to get attracted to somebody is because they don't feel seen and validated and connected in their relationship. They're lonely. Mm -hmm. They feel like, well, my partner doesn't desire me anymore. She's angry at me all the time. There's nothing I can do. I've lost her anyway. And then they start to notice that actually the secretary in the office has got an amazing smile and acts as if they're special and brings them coffee. And suddenly 
they're struck by the fact that the secretary in the office is just so sexy they can't believe it. Mm -hmm. And so they get pulled in that direction, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's all, from my point of view, mostly it's about this longing for connection and validation that happens, you know, that's more powerful actually for human beings than lust. And that's, I know I'm going against Freud here, but in this case, the new bonding research says yeah. the main need for us as human beings is this emotional connection with another person. That's survival and survival comes before sex. Yeah. So it sounds like while infidelity is incredibly painful for people, that there are definitely options for them to get help. It sounds like visiting your website is a great resource for people and not making any rash decisions, giving it a, giving it a chance. Mm -hmm.